All right, other one, Stephen, is uh, that we now know that the cost of the referendum and uh, the, if it passes will be $364 million. Pauline Hanson points out this is a whole lot more than a referendum in 1999, and I'm pretty sure that our population has not quadrupled since that one. Here's what she has to say about it. And there is no doubt this will be the most expensive referendum exercise ever. In this week's budget, this government is blowing more than $364 million on this unnecessary, divisive and racist referendum. Add it to the $75 million in the October budget, this means taxpayers are forking out more than $400 million for the Prime Minister's personal vanity project. The last referendum in 1999 cost approximately $67 million Adjusted for inflation, today it would have cost about $124 million. There is every reason to believe the extra money is being banked to fund the voice, which in their arrogance Labor will legislate even when the Australian people reject it. The money also includes more than $10 million to increase mental health supports for Aborigines during the referendum period. Typical Labor hypocrisy. They've halved the mental health support for everyone else at a time when nearly all Australians are struggling with the legacy of pandemic lockdowns, the cost of living and the housing crisis. We won't ever get a straight answer from this government about why this racist referendum is costing more than three times what it should. That's because this government has never considered itself accountable to the Australian people and never will. So, Stephen, if uh, those numbers are correct, which was about what the 99 referendum cost adjusts for inflation, is the reality here that the leftover $250 million is for the instrument of the voice should it be up and running? Well, look, the good news is Senate estimates is, I think, next week. And so Pauline can start asking these questions and... You know, she can put a tin foil hat on and come up with all the other conspiracies about this. So let's be very clear. She's opposed to the referendum. Uh, this is democracy. It's how we change our constitution. It is messy. It is expensive. But it is a valuable part of our society and our understood processes. If she wants to vote against it, fine. If she wants to you know, vote against the legislation in Parliament when and if it's, I think it's already been through, that's fine as well. But now she's just trying to literally make up uh, things that she has no factual basis. They're as factual as that. Remember the famous, I found these notes at a restaurant and somebody told me they were really from all these people. This is the secret agenda. I mean, seriously, Pauline, you know, just will you strap down that tinfoil hat and preferably find one to put it, a strap to go across your mouth as well because you are just talking rubbish. Bronwyn, uh, would it actually cost the AEC $364 million to run a referendum? Uh, well, I think on the figures that Pauline just put forward, she makes a good case. Um, the answer is no. Uh, but, of course, you, the extra $250 million, you could easily run some conventions, which is the way you should properly run a referendum. But that, the, all of that is being ignored by this government because they just want to force it through because it's Albanese's undertaking. Uh, the ramifications for what can happen if it goes through are just really quite scary for what can happen to the Australian fabric, of our legal fabric, and the way that the, um, the way the parliaments work now. It is handing over the superiority of the parliament as the law-making body to the High Court. And that's because... Um, that once it's in the Constitution, the High Court is seized of the ability to deal with anything dealing with the Constitution, and it will do so. Uh, and so when, when we have people like uh, former Justice, Justice Callanan saying that it will end up with perhaps 10 years of uh, having uh, legal cases brought before we know even what the ramifications are, he's quite right. So... It, it is a very serious question and it needs as much area as we can possibly have.